the tribe has spoken. The only man willing to accept any challenge, no matter how dangerous or outrageous. A man who eats perilous tasks for breakfast, right after his protein bar. A man prepared to put his body on the line in spectacular acts of death-defying feats. All because his muscles and ego are ten times bigger than his brain. It's time to dare Dieter. You know, before we start their data, one of the things I have been working out for two weeks, I have such a new appreciation for those guys like Cody and anyone else who does Fight Fest. Oh. And Dieter? No. You used to hate people that work out. Oh, it's pointless. No, I never. No, no, no. What I'm saying is I cannot even imagine the amount of work that those guys must put into that kind of thing and the stamina that you have to right. have. Oh, th- My yeah. God, I, right. I can barely stay on a treadmill for a couple of minutes and these guys are going out and fighting people for 15 minutes at a time, you know? You already blew your knee out, blew your elbow out. <laughs> it's been two weeks. My elbows are a little bit sore, man. <laughs> and it went to your that knee. you mentioned that. Ah. My knee? Knee? Yeah, I haven't done legs since then, so oh, I, I, okay. I've been taking it easy. I didn't want to over uh, overdo it, you know, blow out a knee. God, it's like you played in the NFL for 20 years. <laughs> you always got the same knee injury as those guys, and you worked out for two weeks. Like, uh, you ever see O.J. Simpson or some of these guys, like, walking around? After, yeah, they, they, yeah. they hobble around. That's, that's me after working out for two weeks. Well, let's get to the email. This is another one that comes from a woman sent this in, Dieter. Wow. Probably I, the idea came from her boyfriend. I'm just guessing, but I don't know. Stacy is her name. It says, Rover, here's a dare I think is cool. Dieter always puts himself up on a pedestal as if, as if he's some sort of weightlifting god, and he's very demeaning to Dumb and DJ Jazzy Jim. I don't know about that. Yeah. Believe me, I've seen pictures of Dieter, and he's not that hot. Oh. This could be a chance for uh, Dumb and Jazzy Jim to knock him off of that perch, literally. First, you need to get Dieter into a full-body jumpsuit that's kind of baggy. Now, do we have a jumpsuit here? Yep. Here we go. Here comes Jazzy Jim. Oh, thanks. Thank Dick. you, Jazzy Jim. He just threw it, and it is, uh, it's like a, like a thing that you see, uh, how would you like explain a, that? Like a lab technician would wear, but it's full, I, this guy's rolling carpet, you know that stuff in carpet that's, that pink stuff that makes you itch? That's what this guy's rolling. That would actually be insulation, insulation not carpet, but whatever. same thing. Uh, yeah, this is like a full body suit. If you've ever seen like in laboratories where they're making is. microchips and stuff. All purpose coveralls by Kimberly Clark Professionals. There you go. And so we have those for him. Dieter, you're going to have to get into those here. Well, I don't even know what it is. Why am I going to put that on? Uh, momentarily afterwards, okay. you'll have to get into these. Um, then Stacy says, use duct tape to seal off the ankles so nothing can fall out of the legs. So you're going to get into this suit. You're going to seal off the ankles. Then take a bunch of light bulbs and Christmas ornaments and glass stuff and fill up the jumpsuit from head to toe. And... and uh, have Dieter stand. Here we go. Uh, we have yeah. light bulbs. The gym is bringing. He's in throwing here. around like they're not going to break, Jim. They're in boxes, idiot. We have um, Christmas ornaments, indeed, like she suggested. We have a bunch of those. Here they come. There are perhaps even hundreds of Christmas ornaments. These are the glass, little glass bulbs with the metal hanger uh, caps. Oh, um, Stacy wants you to have your entire suit filled up with all of this glass. Now you don't know what's coming next, but what's your impression so far? That it's glass and it's going to cut. And hope this suit's big enough to fit in because usually these things are pretty tight. 
Last time I put one of these on, we were shooting paintballs at me, and it was pretty snug. I mean, whoever got the right size better be right. Well, when you have the oh. muscles that you it have. It is extra large. Okay. Dieter, it's hard for him to squeeze into those sorts of things. Um, then Stacy wants you to stand on top of a five-gallon bucket. Huh, I can't even follow all this. Suits, Between. bulbs, <laughs> yeah. buckets, DJ Jazzy Jim. That's very complex. That's why I think Stacy might have had some help coming up with this. Shut you up. Know? Like you a know? girl can't come up with this? No, I just did. It's not, so Shut detailed. Up. And, I, you know, I don't know. Um, then get a couple of blindfolds. Which we have here. There's oh, DJ Jesse Jim's ski mask is he is in here. Like is it was well, actually it's it's uh, kind of <laughs> like a ski mask, but it doesn't have the holes. It can go over your whole face. Good, so I can't see his face. <laughs> Hopefully, so you, not there's the no case. holes for the eyes. <laughs> um, and and blindfold Jazzy Jim and Dumb and give them uh, a couple of those big red wiffle ball bats, which we have here. Uh, made out of plastic, and it's uh, a lot of stuff. I know. I'm lost. Whatever it is. Well, it'll start to make sense here. Spin Jazzy Jim and Dumb around a few times oh. to get them a little bit dizzy. Then give them five hits each to hit Dieter and try to knock him off of the bucket. They'll break the glass with each hit, and it will hurt like hell. If they knock Dieter off before all ten hits total, if they knock him off the bucket, force Dieter to roll down a flight of stairs, which will thus break all of the remaining oh, glass Lord. inside of his jumpsuit. So you have a lot of incentive, Dieter, to, uh, don't break those to not... Get knocked off of that five gallon bucket. Oh, cut like a cheese grater <laughs> going down those stairs. Seriously, like Swiss cheese. I'm now, not kidding. This has not been tested. We haven't tested no. this out. In theory, it sounds like it will work. Give me the quick gist again. I'm going to stand on this bucket. You're going to put on a suit, first of all. Right. You're going to put, on, put a on a jumpsuit. No, let him hear everything. He's going to put on a jumpsuit. He's going to fill that jumpsuit with a bunch of glass. Light bulbs, Christmas ornaments, things of that like. Okay? Then he's going to get on the five-gallon bucket. Jazzy Jim and Dumb are going to take these wiffle ball bats and try and knock him off of the bucket. One hit at a time. With each hit... In theory, it will break the glass inside of the jumpsuit, cutting, uh, you know, I don't know if it'll cut you up. I don't know. We haven't tested this. I'm assuming well, it will the, break the glass. It's going to explode inside. Is that the, the crap with the mercury in it? No. Was, they're not? No. Right. Just regular light bulbs. No one's got to go home early today from work. Oh, uh, great. We did not even try to see if they'd break, so we'll put a bulb in a bag and see if we can break it with the bat. Yeah, dude, is that bat even that hard? Uh, that. You don't want an alu or a ha hard bat. No, I'm just saying, you. but that bat. Put well, whatever. Okay, that, here's what, here's what, that what I want you to me do. No problem standing up on that. Here, Jim, come here. Here's what I want you to do. Uh, we have it wrapped in plastic. Now put something between... Um, you have to put something between that and your body, okay? I'll put but, it in my pocket, but it's in the bag. Put it in your nuts. <laughs> No, no, no. Nice. Yeah. Put it oh, in your pocket. Put it in, put it in that pocket over there. Well, oh, on his chest? There? Yeah. Oh, boy. On his boob. No, that's, that material is too thin. It's going to go right through and cut him all up. Okay. I'm talking about in his pant pocket, right? I don't think we'll bust through jeans, man. Put it in his butt pocket. Like the jeans. The back of his jeans. Butt or side? What do you want? Just do it on the side. All right, side. Wait, maybe, maybe do it in that other pocket and then turn this way. It might be easier. I don't think it's going to break that way. Let's give it a shot. Let's try it. Now, turn turn this way so I can get you right here. Okay. Here oh, we God. go. I'm going to miss and hit him right in the sack. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Uh, this bat may not be hard enough, though. That's what I'm saying. That looks, looks flimsy. I don't think it'll break. All right. You ready? Three. Oh, he's got to take off the choice thing. Yeah, I got it. Here, working out. Good grip here. <laughs> hey, can you wrap this in tape? Can I get a little pine tar here, All please? All right. All right. Here Three, we go. two, one. Yep. Oh, no. Did it actually hit the bulb? Yeah. Uh, it hit the bulb and kind of my leg. Swing harder, <laughs> Nancy boy. All right, bitch. I, gotta, I have a wall to He's got to move with. over. You got to get more swinging room. Yeah, move over here. Here we go. Get this chair out of the way. Do we have a harder bed or no? 
Nothing. Broomstick. But the jumpsuit that you have, uh, Dieter, here's the difference. This is going through a bag and through Jim jeans. has on really, and these are thick jeans, too, like those painter's ones, kind of. And well, so Wrangler. he has it in his pocket. You <laughs> see the tag? <laughs> those are thick. <laughs> um, that jumpsuit that you have there is very thin. It's almost. I know. Uh, it's like paper towel almost. We need. I think the force to break a light bulb has got to be pretty hard. All right. Let's and, see. Yeah. I, I hit it right on the bulb yeah, too, right didn't? Bulb. What happened? It slid off. Oh, it popped. Did no, it? it didn't. Did it? Oh, it did. Uh oh. She's so couldn't hear. Here, don't put it over here. Now you couldn't hear it. I was thinking you would hear a smashing sound. Well, but think that's one. So if they're all over each other in the suit, you think you'd hear a couple? Oh, ah, son of a! There's glass in my pocket. I don't know if you'll hear that it or not. Stupid. Now this is going to be. Do you have a lot of glass in there right, right now? Not anymore. Dieter, this is, uh, it's going to work, uh, Doogie. We've got it. Doogie just brought in a two by four to hit Dieter with. Let's pat him in the ass bench. again. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget they're blindfolded, Doogie. Sorry. Well, have it just in case. I mean. Uh, Paul, you're on Rover's Morning Glory. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Yo, what's happening? The thick part of a light bulb towards the bottom, towards that metal part. Yes. When you break that, if a shard of that stays in there, that's thick glass, and he falls. That could puncture him. Yeah, I never really thought of you actually <laughs> falling off of the bucket oh. and then landing on I it. I always forget something. one part of it. Or imagine if he if he gets knocked off the bucket and he has to roll. Down the stairs. Yeah, oh, that man. could. Yeah, I didn't That's think a about that. Piece of glass that goes into that metal conductor. Yeah. Oh, I didn't so think you might about that. Do the ornaments, but not the light bulbs. If you're gonna do it, do. Yeah, because that's... Well, the problem with the ornaments... ornaments. She has, like, only... No, no, what? no. The He's problem with the ornaments is that the ornaments also have metal things in there, and they are... It's my whole Christmas tree. It's probably not as bad as the light bulbs, right, though, I'm guessing. that thick part where it bends into the conductor. Oh, my God, look at that! <laughs> oh. Jim is uh, just... Look, Jim just opened up the plastic bag that was inside of his pocket, and he is... Paul was right. There is... Plus, there's another piece of glass on oh, on the inside. Put that in your mouth. There is a shard of... He, he Absolutely, what Paul was talking about just came true on that quick test that we just did. There is the metal part of the light bulb with a like almost like a, a knife coming out of the side of glass that could definitely stick into you and stab you. And if that goes into your heart or something, Dieter... Plus, those bulbs are pretty sharp, too. Have you ever broken one of those bulbs and cut yourself? No. I'm not worried about going to my chest. I'm worried about more just going in my skin, period. What about your, your your boys? The neck, yeah. When you're rolling around, how are you supposed to roll on stairs? It's going to go on my legs. It's supposed to be covered from foot to, head, to neck, all with bulbs. Yes, yes. Hands? Uh, no, because you will have to tape off your wrists right. so that bulbs don't fall out of your arms, too, just like we're doing with your legs. Ryan, you're on Rover's Morning Glory. Good morning, Ryan. Morning. How you guys doing today? Hey, I'm doing good. What's happening? Uh, not so much. Um, hey, if you want to strengthen that bat up, you need to roll, take a roll of duct tape and tape all the end of the bat up. It'll strengthen the bat. Yeah, I remember doing that when I was a little kid with that black electrical tape. Exactly. We used to use duct tape for wiffle ball. Also, I wanted to know if uh, Dumb and Dieter are going to be, or I'm, not, I'm sorry, Dumb and Jazzy Jim are going to be blindfolded during this. Yes, they are going to be blindfolded. All right, cool. Have a good one. Thank you, Ryan. Um, well, you want to try it out with the regular bat, and if it doesn't break, we're going to have to tape it up? And what if they miss a spot that there's no light bulb? How hard did you have to swing to hit me to break it? Uh, pretty hard, man. I mean, it, was, back almost yeah, full it wasn't a full swing because I couldn't get enough extension in here. But, I mean, you guys are going to be taking full swings, I'm assuming, right? I'm not holding back at all. So, I think it's going to work. I don't know what the sound will be like. I thought we would be able to hear the glass breaking, maybe. But well, if there's a couple breaking. But I think if you hear, you might just hear the bat hitting his body and not actually hear the glass, I'm, I'm just thinking. Or hearing me knock him off the bucket. 
Well, we'll see. Can that bucket hold them? It's a Home Depot bucket? Can that oh, hold yeah. Them? Five gallon so. bucket? Yeah, absolutely. Stand on the bottom of it. Turn it upside down and stand on the bottom. Yeah, Jim is on, to, on it right now. He weighs a lot more than Dater oh, does. Oh, yeah. Probably twice the amount as me. Okay. Sorry. Fred, you're on Rover's Morning Glory. Hey, Fred. Hey, what's up? Hey, for all the abuse that Dieter put Dom through, Dom and Jazzy Jim, I hope y'all whip his bitch ass. I oh, mean, man. Seriously, I mean, go for all glory and just knock his ass out. That's it. And this Harry should be Bond a, style, baby. Man, this should be a, shut up. This should be a reward. Shut your, your ass. Today. <laughs> shut this up. should be a reward, Rover. If they don't knock me off. You know, I'm supposed to go down the stairs. I should get something if I could stay up there for those. Oh, come things. on! Well, point. what are you stepping in for? I mean, what, what am I doing? Oh, I was invited. I'm not stepping. I was invited. I'm not inviting myself. Now cool, you are. Man. All right. How about if if we make it interesting and oh, and if you on. stay on the bucket for five hits, you get to do something to that. How about a front kick right in the gut? <laughs> how about you take this wiffle ball bat and you get to nut shot each one oh, of them come if on. you stay. Let's put the hands behind their back. Yeah. You want to I'll do that? I'll agree to that. Oh, oh yeah. my God. That would hurt like you would not believe. Hey, I'm not going to hold back at all, Jim. Just like you said, I'm not going to hold back at all. Well, you have to realize, though, Dieter, that you're going to be up on this bucket wearing nothing but this... this New killer, killer. This jumpsuit, and you are exposing yourself as well. Your nuts are going to be there with nothing to protect you, right? Right, but they're blindfolded. He wouldn't be blindfolded right. if he wins this. Yeah. We gotta oh. give him an incentive for that. What kind of material is that stuff made out of? That jumpsuit? It's not real fabric, is it? It's like, what is it? It's just real thin. Uh, it's like that paper you like down that I have the dentist they put around you. Yeah, that's almost exactly like, what it like is. Like scrubs that a doctor might wear. Polylefin. Yeah, it's like a yeah poly polylefin or whatever. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> but there's, there's air holes in it, so you can breathe. Yeah. Jordan in Rochester, you're on Rover's Morning Glory. Hello? Yes, go ahead, Jordan. Hey, what's up, Rover? Hey, man, what's happening? Peter, what's happening? Yo, man. Georgie, you're an idiot. That's you. Listen, uh, Peter, you you get caught by one of those things in an artery, man, you got like 10 minutes to get to the hospital before you bleed out. I'm a paramedic from Rochester. Trust me, dude, I know. You do not want to do this, because if you get caught, trust me, you'll be dead. What veins am I going to have to I mean, what arteries, no, not, though? Not veins, not veins. No. Arteries. Arteries, dude. My sides. Where are the main arteries running through? I know there's inside one on the inside arms, of your leg. Tons, inside you your legs. you got tons of arteries in your knees, right in your elbows, in your neck, everywhere. Well, the neck you won't be. Artery, you hit an artery, you're done, dude. Yeah, we're not doing the neck. Well, you'll yeah, be okay. the neck is going to be not going to be exposed because the suit only goes from the neck down. So I don't think you're going to get cut in the neck. I know that there is... Like a, I know there's a big artery that's on the inside of your leg, kind of, like and going up to your arm. That's, that's the femoral artery. All right, you got the popliteal artery in your knee. Oh, smarty pants. You got arteries down in your ankles. All right, you got your radial artery in your elbows. You got your, uh, I'm sorry, in your wrist. Oh. You, you don't want to do it, man. Trust me. You, if you hit one of those, you're done. If it does go in, do I keep it in, though, and not pull it out so it's oh. like a cork? Yeah, that'd be pretty smart, and then you'd be putting pressure on it. But I'm telling you, dude, either way, you hit it, it's not worth your life. You know, how, I know what you're, Well, wait yeah. a second. I don't want to, if this is, a, you know, maybe we'll have to do a test and see how it goes after one hit. We'll see if he gets too cut up. But, well, you could how, do that, but you remember that chick that died because she drank too much water? You're yeah. going to be on the same situation. Oh. Talking about you laughing about you down in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do it, man. How, how much time would he have before... You know, it was amount of bleeding, but probably ten, fifteen minutes. He's going to lose a good amount of blood if he hits an artery. What do you do to stop it and and prolong it? Just apply pressure, pressure big time. Apply pressure and put it above the heart. You want to put it, you like if it were, you know, on your wrist. You'd want to put your wrist above the level of your heart. What about tourniquets? Are you supposed to tie a tourniquet around someone or not? That's if you really can't get the bleeding to stop. I mean, that's pretty much later on down the road, five, six minutes. If you still haven't stopped that bleeding. That's the point where you're going to put a tourniquet around closer to the body than the portion of the extremity that's bleeding, and that 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 would be you know a little bit more after pressure and after you raise the uh, raise the extremity above the heart. Yeah, because once you put a tourniquet on, that they could like cut off the circulation to your arm. They might have to amputate it or something, right? No, that's, that's the idea. But like, say your arm, your hand. Without a, without any blood flow, you got six seven hours before it actually you know develops what's called necrosis, which is death of the tissue. But I mean, even then, I mean, 
Trust me, dude, you're, you're talking advanced science here, and it's not something that you want to do just for a radio show. Yeah, radio. and believe me, we have no advanced science or medical knowledge <laughs> ourselves. I'm right passing now. out. I'd look up the closest hospital. hospital. Peter is yeah. looking a little bit more nervous now than he was he just a few minutes after ago. That phone call. Yeah. yeah, when that guy comes on, and you start to think every time, it's, my life's in your hands, and you guys aren't the most intelligent people. Oh, come on, when it comes walk to health, off, Nancy. <laughs> oh, fat. Woo. Stop it. Steve, you're on Rover's Morning Glory. Hey, how's it going? Um, I want to have uh, Rover, or uh, Dieter, stand on the, the open end of the bucket so it's, he doesn't have any balance. So it's easier for him to knock him off. Well, what? After that phone call, now we have a guy it, trying to hurt him. It doesn't say in this the letter whether he's supposed to stand on the top of the bucket with the open end or the bottom of the bucket no. with the closed end. We can flip a coin. No. The bottom of the bucket tails, top of the bucket heads. Let's flip a coin. You do it or I do it. Yeah, flip a coin. How about everything. that? Tails, I do it. Heads, you do it. I was trying to stand on the bucket. Uh, Gina, you're on Rover's Morning hey. Glory. Good morning. Hi, Gina. How are you? I'm doing good. What's up? Um, I'd like to know if uh, one of the girls that Dieter gave the green card to wrote this dare for him. Yeah, Dieter, this What's could her be name? a. Uh, her name is Stacy. Have you ever dated a girl named Stacy? No, Stacy's. I was thinking it could be a jilted lover who got the green card and had to go from oh. Dieter's house. Or maybe a friend of a girl you. Screwed over. So maybe she changed her name, but no, I don't. No, Stacy's. Jonathan just stood on the open end of the bucket. You had uh, quite a bit of balance there, right? Yeah, I think it probably will be almost as stable as using it the other way. But if there's a mistake made and your foot drops into that bucket, then I would say you're out. There's definitely it's got to be harder on the open end of the bucket yeah, for sure. Of course. Yeah. If he steps in the bucket, he's okay because he didn't fall off the bucket. No, that would be falling that would off. constitute falling off the just bucket. Just flip it over so he can just stand like yeah. survivor. They do it because if he falls, if he lifts one leg oh, up, I mean he could really fall off and hurt himself. Yeah, and we're hurting. Him yeah, because then the bucket would be off balance. Right, Greg in Memphis, you're on Rover's Morning Glory. Yo, man, I have to agree, man. I'm a paramedic also, and there's too much risk. There's too much risk. You know, any, any artery, you know, the guy before said 15 minutes, you know, it was bad enough or if it's in the right spot. You're looking at two to five minutes, and that's, that's not enough time. Plus all this stuff going on in the news, I'm getting freaking nervous. You know, the radio station that did that contest, the Hold Your Wee for a Wee, uh, just yesterday, that the an attorney filed a wrongful death lawsuit against that radio station, and against everyone. Oh yeah, and against the general manager is, is so being members. sued. The, oh. the people on the show are Hosts, being sued. Everybody, Jeez. the promotion Everyone people is being, are being sued. sued. Yeah, and individually. This like, woman, twenty-eight-year-old woman, died after she drank a bunch of water and then tried to hold it and not take a whiz for a Nintendo Wii. She drank two gallons of water and died of what they call water intoxication, which is the sodium levels in your uh, system dropping. Uh, very low because of all the water that you've drank. Is that money out of their personal pocket yes. they lose? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And That's they like... used, in the court documents filed, they used what the host said, what uh, Jim said, what the co-host, what they said on the air against them. And now look how nervous Jim is right now. Well, all right, that's, that makes me go on the record here and say, Dieter, no one is forcing you to do this. You don't have to do Dare Dieter. It was just thrown out. If you find it to be too dangerous... <laughs> then uh, you can certainly decline doing Dare Dieter, and I'm not forcing you into anything. And right. for the record, we did ask about tourniquets and a pressure, oh, like that's pressure. Good. Even though you guys were laughing and having a good time. No, we weren't. Just like last time, just like in California. <laughs> so Deja vu. I, I say that it's completely up to Dieter on what he wants to do. Oof, this is a rough one. If he has the cojones to go through with it, or if he wants to pull out, it could indeed oh. be too dangerous. And keep in mind, we have no medical staff here, Dieter, or anything like that. So this is all on you. Oh, no pressure. All on you. Have a sound mind, right? Well, what? You, well, yeah. <laughs> I'll look into a first aid kit. Oh. Got some band-aids. Funny. So we'll mark this. If I do it, and these are my last words. That I want the general manager to be accountable if something bad goes on. Put that on the record. Tom okay. Herschel. Tom Herschel. You want him to be sued? Well, that's my last words. Are say. you going to do it, though? Well, let's get suited up and see what this thing looks like. I mean, we're... All right, he's going to put on the suit. Let me take a short break. We'll be right back with Dare Dieter next on Rover's Morning Glory. Hang on. Rover's Morning Glory. Rover's Morning Glory. 
right, the Dare Dieter email came from Stacy, and let me read it to you again in case you missed what it was. We do Dare Dieter every Friday. Dieter is um, suited up right now. It's so funny. We've got to get a picture of this guy in this suit. It's kind of tight on him. He looks like... <laughs> got a name tag on him. He looks, he looks... Oh, by the way, oh, man, I guess if I... Fart? Hang on a second. No, no, no. Just trying to figure out the microphone situation here, and I guess... He's got... It's like a scientist at a fraternity house. <laughs> okay, it's you know, for Halloween next year. Was it the 80s when guys would wear IZODs and they'd flip the collar up? Yeah. Just doing it now again. Now <laughs> it's, got his, it's back in again. Suit on and the collar flipped up. It looks, it looks like a, a hazmat suit. You know, that's exactly yeah. what he's in. Like those guys that come when there was a, uh, a an anthrax scare. That's what Dieter looks like. It's a white suit. And it has on the, uh, what's the patch say? The green patch on your... Clean Guard, spelled K-L-E-E-N. Clean Guard Select by Kimberly Clark. Read it. What does it say? Jim can't, can't read. read. Huh? He's like, what? Two zero. What do we Ooh, what you dumb ass. It says made with microforce barrier fabric. There you He's go. He's reading the serial number. <laughs> two, four, <laughs> five. Number I was like two. one of those us. Sight tests. Um, let me read the uh, email for you here from Stacy. Here's a dare I think is cool. Dieter always puts himself up on a pedestal as if he's some sort of weightlifting god, and he's very demeaning to Dumb and Josie Jim. This could be a chance for them to knock him off his perch, literally. First, you need to get Dieter into a full-body jumpsuit that's kind of baggy. Use duct tape to seal off the ankle so nothing can fall out of the legs. Let's duct tape up his legs first of all here. Do it. You're gonna put the ankles by the ankles, right? Yeah. Create what? a bubble. Well, no, you gotta. Wait, how is he gonna be able to get up on the bucket if we tape his legs? Not his legs. Oh, not, oh, his ankle. Yeah. Oh, oh, not together. I One at a time. Fall yeah. out. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it's just joining the. Don't program. cough the blood. Yeah. <laughs> um, it says use duct tape to seal off the ankle so nothing can fall out of the legs. Then take a bunch of light bulbs and Christmas ornaments and glass stuff and fill up the jumpsuit. Then have Dieter stand on a five-gallon bucket. Blindfold Jim and Dumb and give them those big red wiffle ball beds. Spin them around a few times and give them five hits each to hit him and try to knock him off the bucket. They'll break the glass with each hit and it will hurt like hell if... He falls off the bucket before the um, if he falls off the bucket before, before the ten hits, then he has to roll down the stairs with everything in him. Yeah, in the jumpsuit with everything. I'm tight on the wrist. I don't, I don't want my hands getting. So the the ankles are duct taped right now, Rover, and you can't see it because you're on the other side. And he's so funny because he's got these little Nike right. booty ankle socks. <laughs> you can see his ankle bones, but because of duct tape, it's raised, so he's got floods on. Look at this tape job on my wrist. Is oh. that a freaking joke? Dude, that's too tight. Don't no, it's it not out. too tight. It's, it's got to be tight. I don't want it coming out of my hand. It's got to cut your circulation not, not off. too tight. If it was too tight, I'm sure he'd bitch at me. Hey. They're wrapping his wrist right now, so his... presentable. His ankles and his wrists are now taped off, so they're, they are sealed tight. Now we're going to take all these light bulbs and ornaments and stuff and fill up his suit. Wait, I so thought we were going to do up, sections. So we're going to fill up the legs a little bit, tape then off. Then tape the wrist, thighs. the waist, and then go waist up. Yeah, we're going to have to do it that way in because sections. Because everything would sink. Yeah. So we'll fill up his legs, we'll tape those off, we'll, then we'll do like the waist up, we'll do the arms, and we'll, we'll do all of it. He's going to look like the kind of like the Michelin Man, is what he's going to look <laughs> like. Like Dumb. Dumb looks like a, a tan Michelin Man. Oh my <laughs> God, look at these metal pieces. See if I can see your bulbs. Eddie, you're on Rover's Morning Glory. Good morning, Eddie. Hey, how's it going, Rover? Hey, man, what's happening? I just thought, you know, you got a bunch of... Uh, nerve endings and stuff in your arms and stuff like that. If he severs one of those, he could end up having a hard time uh, losing feeling in his arm, his leg, or if it breaks in his back, punctures his spine, paralyzes him from the waist oh, down. Oh, Lord! I'm not getting paralyzed over this stupid thing. You never know, man. Hey, hold well, on, yeah, I'm, it I'm just hoping. Oh, I'm afraid now points. because of that hold your wee for a wee thing, I'm afraid to even say anything on the air now, you know? 
other than I'm so concerned because those guys came off like such asses. Like, oh, I hope he dies. Yeah, <laughs> it's my family will be rich. <laughs> I don't have any money. Don't well, come the station me. does, but they obviously don't <laughs> give it to us. <laughs> All right, the legs are done. No, we got it. Are we doing how many sections on the legs? They're pretty high. high. What's the matter? How many sections you have on the legs? One section on the legs. Yeah. Yeah. One each. It's so tight anyway. Yeah, because I mean, walk around. Come over here so I can see you. Let me see here. <laughs> it's like hammer pants. <laughs> some slide, some do slide. Like, down. Uh, come over here. Do I have my wire? Oh, let me get my wireless headphones here too. Can when you're walking, uh, when you're walking, Dieter, come here. Walk over here. Does listen. He's not used to having balls in his pants. You mean bulbs? <laughs> balls. You can hear it as he as walks. He walks. The, all of the you're bulbs. Right down on my knees now. Look at this. But yeah. you're going to be high up, sweetie. You're going to be up on the. That's why you have to do it in sections. Where if if because uh, otherwise everything will go all the way down to the bottom and just keep getting lower and lower. You want to do another section at the knee and then go thigh? I don't know, man. You got a lot in their legs. I mean, they're they're scooch above your. Up. It's up to you guys. All right, why don't you scooch some of them up and then they're put put it right around his knee? Put some tape I around. I can't walk around too much, so they're getting packed okay. and tight. Look at this. He's going to look exactly like the Michelin Man when he gets done with his little sections. You think Don could... Sit on your back, put your legs in the air, and they'll scoot down. They'll scoot up. Uh. Oh, he can't. I think it's going to rip. <laughs> he can't bend. Kim, you're on Rover's Morning Glory. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Rover. How are uh, you? Hi, what's up? <laughs> Listen, I have a suggestion to take the fear out of all this radio steering. I think you should replace the light bulbs with some of Mike's colostomy bags. Oh, and smash that in Dieter's uh, body. Yeah, with his ankles taped, and then he has to roll down the stairs. It would just take all the fear out of it. It would be hilarious. Dieter is now on his back. I can't see what's going on. What's going on over there, He's Jim? got his legs spread up in the air, and he's trying to shake the bulbs to get him to go from like his ankles up towards his thigh. He has, I would say, a hundred Christmas bulbs in his legs mm -hmm. already at this point. So his his legs are very baggy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an old man dancing at like a wedding or something. They sit down on the, their back and kick their legs. It's like those old aerobics where you do the bicycle. That's what he looks like he's doing. They're not, they're not moving down. They're too I think they're they're very high up. I think you guys are fine. To be honest with you, right. I think it's good. God, they're up to his past his knee though. All right, that's fine. That's a lot, you guys. Oh, oh man. That's a, now that's tape a lot. off his thighs and then put the rest in. All right. They're, ta they're putting tape around his uh, right above his knee right now to make it. So he's sectioned off from mid thigh to the ankles, are completely full with Christmas ornaments and uh, light bulbs and stuff. Those are some big legs. All right, so the next thing, the next section will be from, like, the waist area, a little above the waist, belt, the nuts? belt line to the... All right, let's fill this. Belt line to the mid-thigh. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. There's still steel parts on these. Look at this. There's still paper clips on all these. <laughs> hangers from the Christmas tree. Sorry. Sorry. Hanging on the Yule log. Hey. <laughs> uh. The front here. All right, is that it for that section? Or finish? Put some bulbs in. Now, light bulbs. We got the Christmas ornaments. We need light bulbs, Jim. Just pack everything, Jim, man. Or you want to tape off. These are all by my nuts. You want to tape off? Tape off now at the waist. Oh, that's gonna be the next tape a, job. And that, All right, oh that's boy. fine, sure. Because upper body's not having to mean. See, you are so full. He's he from from about Wait, the whoa, whoa. from about the right. pubic area down. He's completely filled with uh, white bulb. You look like a fag Ghostbuster. <laughs> I was the Egon. I got that Egon Ghostbuster shoe. <laughs> oh, Jim, don't throw them. God. I think I'm in a, like a shoplifter. I'm like stuffing my freaking inside of my shirt. Still light bulbs. Light bulbs are going in. How many are you guys putting in there? 
Do I put the rest of these ornaments that, in? That's a, you guys, that's a lot of stuff. That's too much. Damn. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. His whole, his whole, oh, you got to see this. Let's just do another sex. Dumb has a very concerned look on Where? his face right now. Dumb even hates Dieter, and he's, he's. Oh, man, there's a lot by my heart there. That's, that's too much. Around. There's just a there's a caller on the line that says there's an artery that like you cut it it's eight seconds you can die. It's probably the jugular. No, he says it's by your armpit. All right, so are we done with the upper body? I think so. Do I do up here? That's enough, you guys. Man, no, this, Dieter. This, it's like mid chest level. How how high do they go on you? That's. What do you mean? Uh, it's up, they go up to his nipples. They go yeah. up to your nipples, pretty much. That's that's pretty high. I think that's plenty. You want to put some on the back? No, yeah. you're fine. Just push these around the back. I'll no, the you arms. guys, no. Just arms? No, just leave it like that. That's You guys, that's too many. All right, put <laughs> them in the arms. Jeez. <laughs> well, that's what we take the I mean, this is, what, where, is there any spot that's not covered? If they can't see what they're hitting, everything needs to be covered, so it makes sure that if they hit a section, it's going to have some bulbs. Over. Man. Hey. I thought we were doing the arms because we take the wrists. Well, put them in then. Let's I, talk. I don't know if you need them in the arms. Uh... Yeah, but look at this. Let's make the bicep look big. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, Dieter. Stop joking around. It's not no, I'm funny. I'm just saying. It's like emotion. <laughs> Dumb, you wish you had this, you fat boy. <laughs> He's got a light bulb right on the bicep. i the long and short head of the tricep. The oh, back of the man. Dude, it's tight on the arms. I'm telling you right now. This is the tight. And this is an extra large suit. Because you're not even putting it up and over. Do it. All right, that's enough. Pull enough. down. Just cut a hole here and just drop him in. No, no, no. He's got a... No, no, no. Cut a hole in the suit. He's going to have plenty of holes in this suit in a minute. Oh, sorry. You know, these sound so good on paper, and then when we actually start to implement them... Of course a lady sent this one in. It's so lady scentful. You know, it's, so, it's dumb. So nervous as we continue on through these. And All right. That's enough. My God. It's up to his now... Uh I mean, it's all the way up to his, uh, it's all the way up. Okay, that's enough. Stop. That's enough. You guys stop. My God. Dieter. It goes all the way up to his, uh. Don't throw him to Dieter. This is what it feels like to be dumb. There's a lot of loose stuff jiggling around. You know, that this is what it feels like to be a fat person. You know, you know how you know. All right. Come on, your knees hurt yet? Now, we're only doing the front, right? We're not doing your back. They're there. They're on the side. Oh, they're starting to move. move. They're starting to migrate. Then move them over there. Stop with the... Push them to the back and the side. Because they're going to be swinging. Oh, you got a lot on the side, on this side. Man, you that, just have to face kid, them. Yeah, that, that kid... This break... If, the, if I take a bat right here, that could all push right into the skin. God help me. They just zipped, they zipped all the way up. You got to... I mean, this is the strangest sight. What the hell? You know, people come up with the craziest stuff, man. Now I'm nervous. He's in a, I know. He's feeling these. <laughs> what was that? He's in a full body suit, and the body suit is completely filled with light bulbs. Can I you, mean, he's bulbous. Like, literally. jump. Like, can you jump up a little bit? Oh, my God. <laughs> Santa's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells. All right, let me dial up here. Stop it. <laughs> I got really salsa dancing. Every girl will be attracted to you, know? Let me dial up my other wireless mic. Here you go. Jim, grab this or someone uh, hold that. This. All right, this is no more fun and games now. This mic is offline over I'll here. I'll tell you okay. what, it's, it's hot. It's like I'm electric. It's hot. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get dumb to come What's in. What's that? Let me in. I would stand. I would not stand on the open end of the bucket here. That's just you. way too dangerous. Sweet. Oh. I stand up for these shots, and I get full swings to their nuts. And if I fall off, I'm going down the stairs. Yeah, if you're just tuning in right now, he's got the body suit. He has uh, it's completely filled from ankle up to neck with light bulbs and Christmas glass Christmas ornaments. He's going to stand on a five-gallon bucket while DJ Jazzy Jim and Dumb are blindfolded, and they're going to kind of use him as a human piñata. You know what? 
it's put more on the side. So I'm facing forward. How are they gonna? Are they swinging at my side or they're swinging at you? All right, you're side be blindfolded, so we're just swinging. I know my face is exposed. You know, I'm not. Yeah, but you're gonna be on the bucket. We're not gonna swing up. We're gonna swing straight. Not long. Um, and then he's gonna get on the bucket. They're gonna take five swings each. He is then, if he stays on the bucket throughout all ten hits, he's okay. If if he falls off, he then has to roll down the stairs. In his suit filled with light bulbs and um, what? And Christmas ornaments. Hi. I, no, it's you're oh, talking to me it. off. You're talking to me. Uh oh. Wait crotch. a second. We need oh. some duct tape. Tape, tape, tape. duct tape. He had, he had balls fall out of his crotch area here. What happened? Put that back in. Put it back in. When I try to step on the bucket, it just slice right down the middle. He is so. Um, He's taut. Yeah, he's so filled with these things that it, it he can't really move around too much. Okay, go underneath. Oh, my God. Tom Herschel Jr. is back there in the phone screening Uh-oh. room. Did Tom Herschel Sr. Did Tom Herschel Sr. instruct you to come over here? Right. He no. just wants to beat up Dieter. I let Nard take a hit. It takes away from one of Dumb's hits. Wrong. All right, they have his crotch duck. Now help him. Help him. He needs. He needs like. You need a step, and then. Hang on. You need a smaller step to get up on that bucket. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang. Ready? Wow. That's an athlete right there. He's up on the five-gallon bucket now. Are we sure we want the bucket? What? Where else am I gonna go? Are we sure that's where we want? Are we gonna get a good swing? You stand here. Yeah, I think right over there is where you're going to stand. Give him the wiffle ball bat. Who wants to go first, Dumb or DJ Jazzy Jim? I'll let Shrek go first. All right, Jazzy Jazzy Jim is going to go first. I'm not worried about my face. I'm worried about my... uh, It's. To go like this? Do you need goggles? You want a helmet? You want goggles? We, we, We do have a helmet over in the office. Do you want a helmet? Yeah, they can't hit that high up. Yeah, they really sure. can't because hit your of the face ceiling. because the, okay. there's, yeah. I'll just go like this then. What side are you swinging on? I'm going to put my arm against my face then. Okay. All right. Blindfold. Wait, Doogie, I need your help. Doogie, oh, you need to. No, Doogie, I need you to spin them around oh. uh, 10 times each to get them dizzy and then put them into place. Spin. Oh. This one, left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're spinning Two, Jazzy Jim around. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh. nine. One more. Ten. All right, now put them into position. Oh, which is where? Right here? Uh, uh, yep, right where you're standing. Okay, Jim is blindfolded. He's going to take a shot at oh. Dieter here. Oh, God. Oh, oh damn. Oh, come on. Yeah. Count? Come on. It's up to you. Jim, you, you count, count or not? Jim, you want to count? Sure. Three. Oh, God. Watch your nuts, dude. He's two. Oh, no, my God. head. One. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> dude, that that <laughs> smashed a lot of glass. You okay? Oh, yeah. Not <coughs> to spin okay. again. Do the diaphragm. Oh. Yeah, spin that mother effer again. Oh, oh no. come on. No, it's Dumb's oh. turn now. Oh, dumb, yeah, Dumb, Dumb, dum come over here. Spin uh, Dumb around. <coughs> You might puke, okay? Yeah, dude, we're in the ribcage. Yeah, yeah, are you off. bleeding? Did that go into you, do you think? Oh, oh my God. Look at his suit. There's a shard of glass Three, coming out of his suit. Four, you are so lucky that that is coming out and not pointing in, Dieter. I can't tell. Oh, come on. Don't. I can't tell if I'm bleeding or not. All right, all right, all right. Did it hurt? Oh, my God. Yeah, this more took the wind out of me. I mean, it's, it's getting it. I don't know. <laughs> What's going? Fat ass just tripped and fell. That's <laughs> my back. <laughs> Help him up. There he, he's getting up. He just tripped and fell. Here, take that. All right, you ready? One. Turn around. Turn around. Oh God, hold on. One. Look, he's dizzy and he's going to throw. Three. <laughs> what the hell? He missed completely. <laughs> he missed close. completely. Jim, get over here. Come on, we got to pick up the pace Come here. Come on. All right, Jim oh, is going to take a shot. He's blindfolded. They're spinning him around. 
Jeez. Okay, let's go. And uh, here he's getting ready to hit. Here we go. Okay. Hang on. Count. You're going the wrong way. I hear him. Oh, God. I should have moved. One, on. two. Easy. Three. Oh, God. Oh, oh, right in the gut. Every time. Oh. <laughs> this is all just broke here. I don't even know. Did it break any? Because you it hit right at the waistline where there's what duct tape. Is. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Spin me around, Johnny. Oh, my God. Oh, man. There's glass all over the floor now and everything. Six, seven, oh, this is too many turns. Eight. Let's just let them pound these out, dude. Okay, nine, ten. Okay, wait, hold on, don't fall again. Okay, All right, ready? right there. Yeah. Got it? Why don't you swing it like a baseball bat, not like you're chopping wood, you idiot. All right. Hold on, you count, Robert? One, two, three. Oh. Why is everybody going for his poor chest? Yeah. Oh. I'll just swing it into it. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, they're to the side by my balls. By your balls or your balls? No, the balls. He's like a bigger bat. All right, Jim is now spun around. This is hit number three for Jazzy Jim. They're trying to One, knock him off. Two, three. Oh, oh. God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh. oh. That oh was my god! Right at high thigh. That was right at, at the. Oh. That burns. That's in the leg. Oh my god. Ooh. That was one that's blowing my nuts. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, dude. <laughs> right, 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 this, right in the thigh. That's oh it. That's a cheap Let's blow. And he broke a lot of the bulbs. I don't know if Why you can hear the bulbs spin, breaking. Just let me swing him. He's hitting like a Nancy. Come on! Let me spin. Let's put him in a position. This is Dom's third hit. Is that correct? Okay. Here we go. Be careful. Still has not been knocked off. Have you lost? Come close to losing your balance yet, Dieter? Oh. No. Oh. The bat's not that. They're not swinging through it. Countdown, Dom. Three, two. Oh God. One. Oh. God. Damn it! It's around the knee. Yeah. Oh, dude, I see. Is that blood or is that? I don't know. I don't know. It's just right. I don't know if it's ornaments or it's blood. It's cut right through the suit, man. They're, look, they're popping out. Let's call right off the How many are left? Fourth hit for Jazzy oh. Jim now. We're going to have to see if he's bleeding. I mean, you got so many ornaments left in you. So many of them have been popped and they're just going right through. And you can see shards of glass actually poking out of his suit here. It's getting hot in here. Am I right? Fourth hit from Jazzy Jim. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Just, I'm, I'm getting nervous. Oh god. One, two, three. Oh! Whoa! Oh, that god. almost knocked them off. Oh, that oh. almost knocked them off oh, the bucket. Oh, oh, oh. oh god. Jim, could you hit him any harder? I mean, what the f? I'm not even looking. I said he wasn't laying back. Yeah, I know, but seriously, for God's sakes, you guys. What? No, I want to make it fair. Let him swing as hard we as We got our nuts on the line here, Doozy. What are we supposed to do? Oh. Where did that hit you right, exactly? Right, right in the... Right in the nuts. Right in the nuts, in the corner of the nuts. Right in the... Uh. Right there. Go, oh, dumb. Ready? Dumb's fourth you hit. If, if they knock him what? off the bucket, he has to roll down the stairs in his suit full of light bulbs and Christmas ornaments. We Three, think he's bleeding. Two. One. Dude, you got his eyes looking through the thing. That counted. He swung through. That counted. No, no, you no, cheated. No, 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 hey, you're no, You cheated. You swung through. Well, that's that was your, strike. Hey, that's your. That's your. No, that, uh, strike, that was your you swing. Dumbass. That was the girliest ass swing no, I've ever no, seen in my you life. Swing thing off and hit me with it. That was cheating. That, will knock me off. that is so that girly. Did you see that hit that he tried? I didn't. I didn't feel it. That All was right, cheating. Jim, get over here for your fifth. For your fifth shot. Jim almost knocked Dieter off, I'll tell you that. Let him look this time. Get a big-ass swing. Pick your spot. I'm no. He's not gonna knock, I'm not even close to falling off. If they, if he falls you off... Bulbs, get a big bulb section. Dieter. Swing for the fence there. Go, right there. Right side All of the right. Fence. Don't hit me in the face. One. Oh, Jim, stop. 
Stop it! What? Let's get on. Go, go with it. Go with it. Jim! Tell the count! One, two, three. Oh, oh. God. Oh, God. Oh. 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 Don't do you. I'm out. Oh, I cut. That for sure cut. Listen to this. Oh, it's sliding oh, down. Oh, look. Get, it cut through his suit. Look at, look at. my skin. Oh, it's all over there. Oh, you hear that? Oh, uh, yeah, there's a few holes in his suit of the shards of glass. I can only imagine. Oh, God. There's, there's holes in glass from the on the bat from the suit. It's wow. coming through the plastic. Wow. I wonder what your skin looks like. Oh, look. Oh, man. He is bleeding. He's got a couple of... Uh... All right, Dom, let's go. Is when we take the suit one? off... So I get to look then? Yeah, you can. got to look. I get to look. All right. If, yeah, go ahead. The way you're swinging. I've never seen someone swing like a bitch like that before, man. All right. So I, I, I would stand this. I get shots in their nuts. That's right. Last one. All right. Yep, All right. you get shots on each of them. One shot on their nuts with these wiffle ball bets. As long as you stay on the... Uh, as long as you stay on the five-gallon bucket, he's standing on the bucket, suit One, full of glass. Two. Oh, God. Uh, Hold on. Three. Oh! 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 Oh, it's in my leg. Hold on. I don't want to move. Just one stick right in the side of my leg. All right, hang on. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Ow. I'm going to puncture my nuts right here. Ow, I can't even walk. There might be one right into my nuts. Right th oh, my God. It's like... Ah! Ow. Ow. Get it up. Oh, you can't. I gotta go down the stairs with it. I can't cut it off. Don't let it go down the stairs. Let's go. Let's do this work. Let's get this over with. What happened on that last shot? He oh, hit you. Secret shots of all the spots. He'd be right in the nuts. And he swung through it right in the side of my leg. Let's finish this. Ah! He's Mr. Big Balls. No mask. Don't worry about it. Where'd Jazzy Jim go? Have a smoke? You need... I'm going real quick. Let's go. I don't need a headset, do I? Okay, go. No, he's all right. Microphone? Did both mics go out, Robert? <laughs> yep. All right, let's... Uh... Let's uh, let's do this. I, I I don't know. I'm a little bit concerned though. Look at this. I mean, there's I don't think they should do there's it. glass coming through the suit right here. Actually, which is a little concerning to me. Yes, he does. We would have had to take it in the nuts. Let's go. Come on. What are you waiting for? Let me tell you what. Uh, hang on. Before we before we go anywhere, oh, let, me, let me describe what this is. I see half of a Christmas ornament right here, and half of it is gone, and the other oh. half. Is just glass. I mean, shards. It's it's. I'm not coming out. It's so taped off. Look, when I walk, there's really nothing coming out. Oh my God! Here we go with the G D excuses. This so may what? be too dangerous to. No, let's just finish this. I'm not hearing dumb crying about it. You're the one that's crying. Come on! Why don't you come and chest up me like a football player's chest? Me, so right, right. Crying. That makes a lot of sense, dude. Oh, in the oh, what's the matter? The fat guy knocked you off your pet. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Dear is trying to. Uh, ah! Good. <laughs> oh God, dude. You all right? Idiot. Go. All right, here goes. Uh, get this over with, and we gotta get that suit off of him, you guys. Here he goes. Oh, everybody's left. He's walking to to the uh, staircase. Rover, you can hear the walk. Listen to the. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, come on. Nice. Oh, come. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to kill, dude. All right. Here he is. He's at the top of the stairs. 
How many stairs, Rover, are there for the roll? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. eight. And then if he goes around the, the corner, there's another five. And then there's like another 15. I think the best way to do this, if you go a long ways, I want to hit that. Uh, oh, God. What about these stairs? Uh, are there other stairs? Are there other stairs? Mm. The problem with the staircase is if he if he lays down, it's it's more than uh, six feet. I mean, it's less than six feet. Dieter's about ah. six feet tall. Dieter's on the on his. Uh, oh, my back. Hold on. Hold on. My back. The glass out of the suit. Thanks, Dick. Oh, <laughs> oh. do I hope to God this doesn't puncture my spine? I'm like right. Oh. That's what I'm worried about. Oh! Ready? Oh, uh, wait a second. Hang on, Dieter. Are you sure you want to do this? I can't go and stop. Now I fall off. That's the part. Of, look, it's sticking out there. There are a few uh, slices in his suit where there's small for shards were coming out, and and there is glass all over the floor coming out of the suit. Broken ones. You know what this feels like? It's right on Christmas Story when he's at the top of the slide. He's like, no, 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 wait, 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 I want that BB gun. And remember, he pushes up down the stairs. Like this? No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! No! Oh, oh, son of a bitch! Ah! Oh, oh, oh my oh. God! Oh, God, you're so dead. Oh, my God, you're so dead. <laughs> you got um, funny. That was, that was oh. six steps. Oh, Dom God. took his foot and, and, and kicked Dieter, and and he went down the stairs. Oh, my God. And, 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 oh, my, dude. Are you all right? Well, I'm hurting. I got to catch my breath. Oh, God, it hurt. Does it hurt? Oh, my back. Move. Finish these. Holy crap. It's everywhere. Ow. Oh, uh. Peter's trying to get up. He has a big split in his crotch now where bulbs are just coming out. Just, when I was all these people looking, I feel like a freaking idiot. I really I feel like I failed everybody. All these people are looking out. Oh, son of a bitch. Ready? He's going to... Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, oh my God. Oh, God. Oh, that, oh, my God. That's it. Oh, that's so it. He just went down the rest of the stairs. Oh, that's it. That's got to be it. You know when something's it, that's it. Oh, my legs. Are you bleeding? I, I just, it just burns and itches all over. That's all it feels like. It's hard because the suit, he's got a full body suit on, so I can't tell if he's bleeding. We we have to take the suit off. Oh. <laughs> uh -uh. I got it. <laughs> he just dropped an F bomb. Jeez. What? Are you in that much pain? You drop an F bomb? I'm gonna finish this. Oh. oh, he's going down the last, the last Get few, back. the Get last back. few, oh, the last oh. few steps. This is bad. Get back. Just roll. Oh. 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 <laughs> he's on the he's on the bottom of the stairs. He's got he's got bulbs coming out of his suit. Oh, I can't move at all. I can't. <laughs> it just oh. the glass is just oh. there's so much sharp glass you won't believe it. Look look how red what? I can't move my arm. Oh. Oh. God, it was... Oh. Oh. Look, look how red his face is. That's it. All right, help him up, uh, slow, Jim. Dumb, slow, help him slow. up. Oh. Slow. Oh. My knees. Oh, hold on. Son of Jim just caught himself just picking Dieter up. Pull on this oh. arm. Oh, 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 man, his suit is cut up. I see a little bit of blood on your back, actually, which is weird because I don't see it in the front. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh. There's 
glass. We have destroyed oh. the building. Oh. Oh, God. Ow! Uh, ow! Ow! Bulbs are in shards of glass are coming. There are bulbs. There are big pieces of glass sticking out of his suit. Trying to make our way back into the studio here. Oh. 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 Just following him. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Why is Tom laughing? It's because Dieter tr leaned up against the wall to, to catch his breath, and 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 he smashed more light bulbs as he tried to oh, lean against the the uh, the wall. All right, come in here. Let's let me. Oh my God, you got to see the uh, aftermath of this, Doji. Look at this. I don't. Oh God! Oh God! Okay. You've got to see this. We got to get the suit off of him and see how cut up he is. Oh! Ow! Get come, come in here! Come in here! They got him right outside the studio right now. I'm back in the studio. Lauren, you're on Rover's Morning Glory. Good morning, Lauren. Oh, hi, Rover. Hi. RB, thank you. Um, so when Dieter's cleaning his cuts, I'm a nursing student. Yes. He oh. wants to clean away from the cut because if he gets shards of glass in his bloodstream, they can go into his major organs and nick them, and he can bleed internally. And some of these are very fine pieces yes. of glass. There's even so glass dust. There's uh He doesn't want to brush it away with his hands if he's cut. You want to use water or like some sort of like dusting thing, like a paper towel or something with little force to get it away from his cuts. And you want to go away from the cut, not towards it. So I just take this off. How cut up are you, Dieter? Are you able to even are you even able to Look find out blood on the inside of here? Uh, should I just pull this off in here? Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, I want to see what I want to see the uh, aftermath of all of this. I mean, this is unreal. He was. You gotta clean it up immediately because the building's pissed. You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. W what are you doing? Taking us off. Oh. Do it in here, cause we gotta... oh. oh man! All right, enough of the freaking camera. Let's with this. God. He's he's pulling his suit off, and you can hear that. All the glass coming out of his uh, suit. All of the... Uh, there's still a few bulbs that are unbroken. He's trying desperately to get out of his suit now, which is duct taped on. He's still breaking pieces of glass as he comes out of the suit. Full body suit. Oh, man. Listen to all that glass that broke on his body. I just saw some... <laughs> you can hear as he takes off parts of his suit that bulbs are still coming out, that um, most of them are broken, obviously, as you can hear, with little pieces of glass coming out. Scott, you're on Rover's Morning Glory. Hey, uh, I think uh, Dumb needs to go ahead and get a shot to the nuts just for taking that cheap shot on Dieter. Man, it was... I agree. It knocked, that's what knocked him off of the bucket. He really he came close to getting knocked off the bucket only once prior to that. And then, uh, uh, man. Oh, my God. Is he all cut up? Oh, my God, I can't. So I can just turn on the uh, screener mic in there. Oh. Here, shut the door. Leave him alone. You guys leave him alone. Shut the door. Just leave him alone. God, pull this off. 
I'm tr- just uh, leave him alone because he's going to get pissed. Let him take care of himself. He is bloody. But it must be a bunch of small little cuts, right? Oh, just, he just hit the wall. What would he do? Kick the wall? Man. Hit the just wall? Leave him alone. Hang on, I got to take a break here, and uh, I want to get him back in here and find out exactly how cut up he is. We'll be right back on Rover's Morning Glory. Hang on. All right, Dieter is uh, in the bathroom right now. And I didn't really see before we went to break. I didn't really see because he was in the room next door to here after he'd fully had taken off his suit. And, and, and Jonathan goes, oh, man, he's bloody. I thought you were exaggerating, you know, for the sake of it being on the radio, Jonathan. I, I swear to God, I thought that he must have had ketchup in there or something. I mean, it looked... I, I didn't believe it at first. And then when I saw him running in the bathroom, I mean, he's bloody. I mean, there's, like, not just a little couple of blotches of blood. I mean, the blood is bleeding through his clothes. I mean, he's got a big blotch of blood on his arm. It he, was bad. He has so much blood on him right now. It is unbelievable. He is covered almost... Uh, from his from waist to neck and blood. I didn't see his legs, so I don't know if he's bleeding on his legs right now or not. But he is is. Um, I I wish he would come back in here. I don't know where he is. I, I'm looking at the camera. And I see Doogie with her hands up on her head out by the door, going out to the studio. I don't know where Dieter is right now, but I know that. Um, I know that he's in a great deal of pain, I guess. I don't know. What, uh, Dom? Are you talking to me? No, I was just saying, when he was in the bathroom, I walked by the bathroom, I, I don't think I've ever heard somebody cuss as many times as I was here. I mean, every other word was an F-bomb. It was over and over and over. He was so pissed off. And you know what the weird thing is, is I couldn't tell what was going on when he had that full body suit on. And, it, it, you know, when I say a bodysuit, it's like a jumpsuit, like coveralls, and then they were filled completely with light bulbs and Christmas ornaments. We couldn't tell if he was bleeding at all throughout the whole thing. You no. were out there. No, because it, it, everything was packed in there. You couldn't tell until he took it off. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think he was bleeding. You know, I saw a little patch of blood at the very end. I go, oh, he's bleeding on his back a little bit. I saw a little bit of red, but only about the size of a dime on his back. And I said, I don't, I don't see it on the front. And then w- when he took it off, I guess, I mean, it, it's just all over. He is covered in blood. Duh, okay. Here comes here comes Dieter. He's back in the studio. Hey, man. Oh, my Look God. Look at the blood. Look at that. Dude, Holy it. moly. Dude. I think I might have hit the artery in my arm because I can't. I have to keep the shirt on just to keep the blood from <gasps> just cuts Let off. Let me see. Let me see. I can't, I'm not going to pull it up. It's all here. What do we do to fix the... Oh. Man. I, just, I feel like I let everybody down, man. I just... <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you let everyone down? I should have stayed on that bucket and none of this would have happened. I brought it on myself and... Oh. You're pathetic. You know what? I, I can't even argue. No, go ahead. Let him say what he wants. Go ahead. Say. He knocked me off the bucket. Man, Dieter has... I'm just going to throw out these freaking jeans. I'm throwing out this shirt. This is covered in blood, man. Covered in blood. It's unreal. And is it, is it I mean, are the cuts all, is it just a bunch of tiny little yeah, cuts? it's just real tiny cuts. The arm's the worst one, but all over my back. And oh, my Dude. God. Those little cuts are the worst ones. That's, that's the one that I saw on your back. I said, that's. I saw like a dime-shaped uh, splotch of blood on your back, Dieter. That was the first thing that I saw. I go, I don't see any on the front, though. And no, I guess you're all on my stomach here. Here, oh. and then, look, it's going through my jeans. If you look here. <gasps> oh, my God. Wow. Uh, that's I'm, Which you didn't have jeans on. You were just in, in what, boxers? No, under I the said suit? boxers, but I'm, I'm not walking around freaking naked. I, I'm done. Man. I, I'm just defeated. Uh, oh man, I just kicked my ass. I don't think anyone is uh, is upset with you, Dieter. If anything, I no, think people. I, 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 Dude, I didn't even. You rolled down that first flight of stairs. I thought that was bad enough, and then you did two more. I couldn't believe. I mean, what? When you landed on your back, was glass just going right into you, into your back, and every, your sides? Every and... roll, every pop was complete torture. I felt like I was in a Vietnamese 
POW camp. I mean, for him to drop two loud and long f bombs on the I air. I don't even know. When was the second he was one? In trouble. Was the second one when he was going down the stairs the I last know. time? It I was, think they dumped that yeah. dude. I got oh. it. I got both. Oh. Man. Did he even get me on the stairs? Yeah, I don't know what dumped. went out over the air, if, if you even oh. heard him going down the stairs. Wow. Well, Dieter, a round of applause for, oh uh, for Dieter. Ooh. Yeah. Well,